come here to give you a final warning. The very next time you approach any of my staff, I promise you, I'll bring you down. Bad ones. I expect you to know by now that I am not afraid of anything. Mom, I was wondering if I can borrow your Bible. You? Yeah. I want, you want Bible. to read the Bible? Sure. <laughs> what? Darling, do you think we should take it lightly? I mean, you just told me he threatened you. Oh, come on, don't worry about it. He was just bluffing. He cannot stand up to the fact that I beat him to it this time. <laughs> <laughs> And Jack, wait me. I want to be lying. God, are you sure of what you're saying? I must say, you surprised me with this visit, How? Here, I wanted to talk about something very important. Hmm. So what is it all about? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought we've talked about this before. There has never been us. There is you and of course there is me. Oh, come on, Sophie. For how long will you continue doing this? Look, my true love. Can't you see all I want is just to be with you? <laughs> sorry. The feeling is not mutual. I'm so sorry it has to be this way. But you really, really have to understand. Understand? No, Sophie, what do you want me to understand? You want me to understand that the fast vlog that caused him separate is standing on the way? Enough of it! Enough of it, Kelechi! I will not sit down here and watch you insult my boyfriend. In fact, I think it's high time you left my office. As you can see, I am very, very busy. Out. Petunia, or are you out of your mind? Auntie, I'm not out of my mind. I've been violated by your husband. No, this can't be true, Tonya. Tell me it's a lie. Tell me it's a lie, Tonya. Please, this can't be true. Tell me it's a lie, please. Auntie, I wish I could tell you. I wish I could.
Yes. It's not quite my size. And it's beautiful. It's slightly bigger. <sighs> to be honest with you, it's been so long. And mostly it's because I'm not so eager to see him. I understand, my dear. When people fall in love and expect so much from life, and it does not work out that way, they are bound to be disappointed. Yes. Disappointment is the word. I put in everything into that relationship. There I was making every sacrifice. I guess Steve and I were not meant to be together. What can I say? You are too perfect together. Sometimes some things are not meant to be. In spite of everything, I wish him well. How I wish I have done more to avert that situation. You did everything to help the situation. You just... Okay, please. Let's not talk about this anymore. All right. I have to be on my way now. Thanks for coming. Thank you for everything. My regards to the family. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Don't forget what I told you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Or did you pick a quarrel this time with my father? No, no. On the contrary, we had some kind of understanding today. So do you want to discuss it? He told me the reason he didn't want me to get close to Chief Martin Fibusa was because he's not a good person. Did you say Chief Martin Fibusa? You were getting close to him? He was the one who offered me the job I was talking to you about. Simon, you didn't tell me it was Chief Martin Fibusa. Now that you know, I guess uh, it changes everything. No, 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 please don't get me wrong. You have the right to live your life, to associate with anyone you want to. But when my father's personality comes into play, 
a bit of a problem. Anyway, I called Chief Martins on the phone and told him to keep his job. Thank you. I know you've sacrificed a lot for our love. But I want to assure you that I appreciate everything you've ever done for us. Words cannot express how I feel. Okay. <laughs> you want some? Uh, I guess I could see some. Okay. Thank you, dear. My husband raped my own niece. Who's the last? Sonia, I need sure there's no mix up somewhere. Because the jack I know, my husband, is a decent man. <laughs> and they are tough so too. But after today's incident, I have no reason to believe that anymore. How did it happen? He had come to school and he had the day to say he wants to take me out for lunch. And being that I trusted him so much, I went with him. So? Answer me, what happened? So? I think he raped me. My God. God. No. My God. The phone is lined. The phones are switched off. I need to hear his own side of the story. And she believe me. The only story you need to believe is what I'm telling you. Shut up. You want me to believe you without hearing from my husband? <laughs> and so why would I need to lie about this? Tell me for now. I've always seen Uncle Jack as a big brother to me. I trusted him. I can't believe my husband was took himself so low as to rape my niece. No. This is unthinkable. Very unthinkable. No. No. Don't you think there was something wrong about this picture? I think it's perfect. I don't think so. Come on, kill it. I'm the woman you desire. You know it. I mean, just, you are not a woman. You are a girl. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Do you know what? Let's wait till then. Kelly, Sophie is not interested in you. She's in love with someone else. Just let it go. What are you talking about? I know exactly what I'm talking about. See, listen, I... If you continue chasing after the shadow, <laughs> you're going to lose out in life completely.
I found this in my wardrobe. Oh, but I found wardrobe. Shut up. This is the very same night dress that we were looking for last night. Mother, now since morning I have only do a female sash for the clothes. It is not a night dress I am concerned about. What were you planning on doing with my dress? Madam, I don't understand you. Okay, which of these two are you? Which or this? Huh, Madam, no. I don't be tearful. I don't be mean to. What were you planning to do with my dress, Mary? Were you trying to harm me or you were trying to steal from me? You want to kill me, Mary? Ah, go for this, madam. I mean, if I kill you now, eh? If I kill you now, who would they fuck me my salary? Eh? And madam, I'm not be need to steal the cloth, too. Eh? You found it and you put it back in there? No. I never think I sight the cloth, too. You know, I never reached your room since morning. So how did you get back in there? But I mean, no, no. How do I the cloth take doing your own movement, too? Tell me something, Mary. Do you like this night dress? <sighs> Madam, the cloth not bad now. <laughs> the color alone and I'm finishing. Are you serious? Yes, Madam. Madam, any time you model the cloth, eh, you will set die. You'll come down with sweet cheek when I'm the show for Miss Nigerian show. You don't understand? Are you serious? Yes, Madam. Wow. So, um, since you love the dress, I want you to have it. Eh? Mother, you touch me God. Absolutely. Many say you are strong enough to take me. You can have it. Hey, Madam, thank you. Hey, Madam, thank you. Thank you. Level. I say, hey, hey, Madam. The money you want for that night dress will be deducted from your salary until you have paid me in full. Oh, Madam, I beg, not do like that, ma. Nah. Yeah. Madam, I beg now. Who you do like that, ma? Madam, I beg now. Just use your trust mark for me. Get madam. up and get out. Madam, I beg, no best, ma. I said get out of my room. Yes. Madam, I beg, just use your mind for me. I don't get it. A few days ago, you told me that medical doctors don't make good husbands. And now you're here telling me all the good things about rape? It's because I believe it's the best for you. Anita, what is this all about? Can you keep a secret? Yes. Kelechi is a two-faced bastard. Excuse me. Everything he told you, he also said to me. I don't understand. I'm, I'm just a little bit confused here. What did you just say? I know he has been lying and talking into a relationship. He has been asking me out too. What? <laughs> Auntie Sophie. Kelechi is a Casanova. He really is. this happen? After we left campus yesterday, he suggested we have lunch. Midway into it, he said he was going to see the star actress Kate Henshaw in her suite. And I also had to go with him. So, he raped you there? Oh my god. I've been violated, Rita. I don't know what to do. Okay. I'm here for you anytime. It's all right. I told Auntie Naba. You did? How did she take it? As disappointed as anyone else can be. This is a shame. A big shame. I'm so worried about what this would do to my auntie's marriage. Perhaps I should just have kept it within me. No, Tonya. That was the best you could do under that circumstance. Nobody is going to blame you for it. And besides, I want you to know that you can always count on me. 
Okay? Millennium Oil and Gas of Petitions Partners Group in connection with the contract they awarded us. According to them, we are not fulfilling our own part of the deal. I don't understand. LMOG alleges that no work has taken place on that site for the past one month. But that can be true. What I want to know is whose responsibility is it to ensure that work is going on on the site? Well, GM, that should be your duty. Yes, sir. Originally, it's supposed to be so, sir. But the director here specifically asked me to hand up that job, sir. Why? Why? Because it's a huge job, Daddy. Two weeks ago, I signed out a hundred million naira for that job. Somebody put the papers together and presented them to me. I did. Well, now, tell me, Jokotari, when last did you visit that site to ensure the level of work being done there, since you've made it your own private affair? Um, Mr. Inamdi, Mr. Steve, please, could you excuse my father and I? I need to talk to him in private. I have not finished with them, Jokotari. What I want you to do is answer my question. When last did you visit the sites to ensure the level of work being done there? It's up to three months. So, you make me sign out money for the job without ensuring the level of work being done? But the contractor, Mr. Shabit. I don't care what Mr. Shabit told you. You ought to have up-to-date information about what's going on there. Daddy, it's amazing the way you address me in front of these people. Oh, excuse me. I guess what you expect is that I hug you and say, See that, thank you for putting everything I've worked for into jeopardy. I will hold a meeting with you. You will do no such thing. What you're going to do is give me one good reason why you should continue being a director of this company. Madam, Joko Daddy, what about her? Yeah, Madam, she arranged me clothes yesterday night. She called to say she could exit the money from my salary. Madam, only one still in manage you. How is that? Yeah, Madam, the clothes been lost. Yes. So. I don't know the kind of English you speak in this house. Edit, edit your money or something. I, I don't know. What, what are you talking about? Madam, I do the expense say she did pinch the money come off my salary now. She did pinch her. You yeah. have to learn how to speak correct English. Do you hear me? I have told you not to ever speak vernacular in my house. I don't like it. But I love this. Don't worry. I'll talk to her when she gets back from work, okay? <laughs> Madam, thank you. Thank you, ma. Chef with that, Dr. Yeah, 
do I help him pray? What a total surprise. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. So how are you? I'm fine. Oh. Nice to see you. Very fine. Your house is beautiful. Thank you. I came back from Dubai a week ago. So since I didn't see you, I decided to check on you. Oh, oh yeah? So what did you bring for us this time? A lot of good things. A lot. You need to say it. Jewelry, shoes, bath, clothes. They're all fine. You know, I know your taste. Mm -hmm. You love Yeah. Okay. Um, by the way, what do you have in mind? I don't know. I guess I just have to see my dad um, to have the issue resolved. All right, but what has it got to do with Sophie? Sophie? Yeah. It's got everything to do with Sophie. Man, I should have proposed to that girl two years ago. But it's just that I, I can't get married without my parents' blessings. Oh, I oh, see the point. That girl has been so patient with me. And now I feel like I'm letting her down. Man, do you know we've been dating for the past nine years? <laughs> you said that to me before. Um, well, wait. Since your grandfather is willing to talk to your dad, I mean, let's just hope that things work out for good. <laughs> of course. I pray, man. I seriously pray. <laughs> Because I want to have this whole issue resolved and put behind me. Definitely. I want to marry the girl I love. I want to marry Sophie. We let's keep our fingers crossed. We will man. We will. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Alright. Daddy. 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 Are you contemplating demoting me? Or well, maybe if you can give me one good reason why I shouldn't, things will remain the way they are. I can't believe this. Don't waste my time, Jokotaya. Answer my question. Why should I not demote you? If you don't answer that question, then I'll be forced to take drastic action here. Because I am the most dedicated staff of this company. Because I have won more contracts for Bradmos Group, more than all the staff combined. Because apart from what just happened, I have never disappointed you, both as a daughter and a staff. And lastly, because everyone deserves a second chance. It's okay. I'll give you a second chance. Jim. Yes, sir. You and your colleague, go and bring Mr. Shabi here. Let him come and explain why he took a hundred million naira and yet no work is going on on site. All right, sir. We'll be up to you right away, sir. And I want a feedback before the day is over. Okay, sir. That's it. All right. You all can go. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I guess you heard me, Jokotadi. You all can go. Thank 
I'll buy this one for my first daughter. Hmm. How much does it go for? Okay. So this is twenty thousand naira. Isn't that too much? No, 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 no. Considering the quality of the jewelry, and you still have to go to to get these things into this country. It's worth the amount. It's okay. I don't have cash in the house now, but I'll give you a check in that amount. Would that be okay for you? Hmm. Okay. I'll take it. Can I have a case for that? Okay. Your husband was very, very good. He's only talking like this. So I got to do it now. The work of God. You're right, please. have told me you'd be coming. Sweetheart, something brought me to this neighborhood and I thought I should see you before leaving. Since it's been quite some time. And you insist you don't want something to eat? No, Mom. I had lectures in the next five minutes. And I was actually thinking of coming to spend the weekend with you. It's okay. You could come. How is your father? Mm. His wife? And your little brother? They're all fine. They're doing well. And Susan? You both are not having problems. Mom, you talk as if you've been gone for so long. I mean, we were together three weeks ago and you asked me the same question. Sweetheart, maybe it's because I understand how difficult a situation like this could get. <laughs> okay. So far, we've not really had any serious problems. Um, we've been trying to make amends lately. It's the best. Um, so tell me, Mom, what brought you to this neighborhood? Like, they work? <sighs> no. <laughs> so I guess you meant to be at work by now. Sweetheart, I had wanted to talk to you about it the last time we were together. I lost my job. You what? What happened? And when did this happen? Close to two months ago. Two months ago, and you didn't tell me anything. Sweetheart, hmm. I don't want to expose you to unnecessary worries and anxiety. How can you say that, Mom? I want to know whatever happens to you so I can help you in any way I can. You need not to worry, my dear. I will get another job. I'm talking to a few friends already, and it won't be long before something comes up. So, how have you been coping without a job? I am coping real fine. Oh my god. Don't worry, sister. Everything will be alright, okay? Okay. I'm done with the iron. The iron is very cute. Wow. I'll hold them in the wardrobe later. Thank you. Thank you, sister. And you need money, right? Yes. I thought as much. Because each time you begin to act this helpful, I know you need something for me. So how much are we looking at? Two thousand naira. Two thousand naira. Anita, just for hair. I want to see the wash the hair, because I've not done my hair before. I hope I have enough money and then one, two. And I'm just thank you. Thank you too. Good morning, love. How was your life? Good morning. Sophie. How is it going out today, dear? No, I don't feel like. How are you? I'm okay. So when last did you see Raymond? Um, two days ago. We spoke real fine and. He reaffirmed um, his commitment to our relationship. Really? Yes. And uh, I'm beginning to see that truly he has not really changed. 
Rhea and I are still the same people that fell in love 10 years ago. I'm glad you could say that, Frida. <laughs> so tell me, has he proposed marriage? No, not yet. But I'm not worried. He's taking his time and I know very soon he's going to propose. What a stupid question. Laraba, are you out of your mind? What's the meaning of all this nonsense? Understand me, Jack. Maybe I shouldn't have put it that way, but... You should never have mentioned it at all. Don't you realize that's an insult to me? Sonia came home yesterday afternoon crying. Could it be that she made up the story? And if yes, why? Don't believe anything Tonya tells you because you don't know her. What do you mean? Yes, there is more to Tonya than you know. I don't understand what you're saying. Can you please explain this better to me? Laraba, Tonya has been the one coming at me. I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want to come between two of you. No, 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 no. I can't believe this. Tonya can never do a thing like this. Have you ever wondered why your little niece has been downcast these days? It was because I rejected her. Tonya wanted me to leave you and come to her. Are you sure of what you're saying? Are you sure of what you're saying? What do you think? Steve, I think it's now okay. This is on the road. Yes, yes, I think so too. He passed out of his house and opened at the same time. <laughs> no, that's not good. That's all wrong. Uh, well, good. I mean, what do we tell the chairman? It's only as it seems now. I mean, it's obvious he's on the wrong. And the sooner we arrest that man, the better. Arrest him where? I mean, this guy's not in the office, he's not in the house. This is just a this is I mean, how? I am.
Why are you winding down, Flo? I mean, I do not feel. I need some fresh air. I'm not just in the mood now. Come on, you're too economical with your car. Okay, then buy me some fuel. Get me some fuel. Trust me. Hello, madam. No, madam. Um, I'm afraid we have bad news for you and the chairman. Uh, we have reasons to believe Mr. Shabi has absconded. He moved out of his home and the office at the same time. Uh, that's the information we gathered, madam. Hello? Hello? Are you still there? Uh, here is madam. Okay, madam. She is mad. How would I not worry? I know what it means for an independent woman to be out of a job. It really worries her. Okay. What is she doing about it? She has talked to a few people. But honey, I'm really worried about her. See, this that woman has gone through a lot in life. See, I'm as confused as you are on this. I just pray that she gets a new job very soon. I think I have to go talk to my dad. I'll be going home from there. What about you? Well, I think I'll go home. <laughs> and um, about that thing, call me if anything comes up, okay? Alright, let's go. What? Why do you say that? I shall be absconded with my money? Uh, he moved out of his residence and place of work, sir, and nobody seems to have any idea of his whereabouts. His personal and office phone lines are switched off. So, so what did you do? Did you tell the police? No, sir. You asked me to report to you first. Sir. Okay, okay, okay. But go and report to the police immediately. I'll call the commissioner of police and, and let him know what's happened. Bastard kind of scum with my money. Go, 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 go. All right, sir. Hi, sir. Hey, sweetheart. What a pleasant surprise. Did you tell me you were coming? So, tell me, how was school today? School was fine. Uh, can I get you something to eat? I don't know, Dad. Something to drink? I'm fine. Are you sure? So what brings you here? Uh, Mom and I were together a while ago, and she told me she lost her job. Oh. It's a pity. Is that all you can say? It's a pity. Oh, come on, sweetheart. What else do you expect me to say? Daddy, I know you and Mom ended your marriage years back. If you love me like I think, then I expect you to care for her. You know, let's talk about something else. Let's just how can you say that, Dad? Do you know how difficult it has been for Mom? This is an office. Sit down. Don't you ever raise your voice at me again. Daddy, it's not fair. 
Mama has done nothing to deserve this. And whose fault is it? Mine? Daddy, all I ask of you is to do something to help her. She's suffering. Rita, I don't want to talk about this again. And that's final. Of course you don't. You never cared about my mother. And you know what? You cannot claim to love me when you despise her so much. Rita! Come back here! Rita! Come back here! Two weeks ago, the same Ashabi was in this office, soliciting more funds for that job. <laughs> Have you called his personal phone line? Yes, but they are switched off. Madam, what I think we should do is look for a solution to all this. You're right. And uh, we have to find a way to complete the project within the two months we've been given to. I'll see to that. Listen, there's something I want you to do for me. I don't want you to go talking to my father just yet about all this. I mean, the fact that Mr. Ashabi has absconded. Why? Wow. He specifically asked me to give him feedback on this. Yeah, tell him something. You know, tell him that um, Ashabi traveled out of the country. He won't be back until a week's time. Hey, concoct something. You expect me to lie to the chairman? Not for long. Just for enough time to, you know, take care of the situation. I need to buy time. Well. I'm sorry to disappoint you, I cannot lie to the chairman. And um, why is that? I mean, <laughs> this wouldn't be the first lie you'd be telling, you know? It's not as if you are righteous. Well, if this is all you want to talk to me about, then I think this meeting is officially over. Are you working out on me now? Well, I wouldn't if you give me reason not to. But if it's still about me lying to the chairman, then I'm out of here. You little prostitutes. Today marks your end in this house. Yeah.